guys, I am Emily and this is Painful Hilarity and I really don't want to make this video. Um, no, it's just something that, like there's so many things that we go through that are just like shameful, like they shouldn't be, but they are sometimes and even as open as I am about most of the things I go through like there's still a ton that they don't talk about and I just wanted to talk about one of those things um oh this is this is like this is tough and like I feel in my life when things are really tough to talk about is like when I really should be sharing it because I know that other people are going through this struggle and I'm sorry I look very tired and very haggard because I am. Um, so as you all know, unless this is the first time you have watched a video of mine, please subscribe <laughs> so you can watch more of my videos. I have chronic illness and chronic pain and just add them all up. But my health has been at an all time low. And I think I keep bringing that up because I feel like it's important in some of the things that I've been experiencing. So I have social anxiety and I have, I feel, a very weird type of social anxiety where I, when I am in a social situation and I am having panic attacks and anxious, I talk a lot. So people think that I am super outgoing and just like the life of the party when inside I'm just like slowly dying and screaming at myself to shut up because I'm just like annoying the crap out of myself. Um, and so a lot of people are like, you don't have social anxiety, you're like great around people. And I'm like, no, it's a nightmare. Um, so I feel like lately it's been more so. Um, my social anxiety has been coming up. And also for the first time, I have been agoraphobic. And I never experienced that before. I went out, I forget what I was even doing, but I went out and I took one of our cars that I'm not very familiar with and it was, I mean, looking back at it, it was a completely normal day, completely normal everything, but to me it felt like rush hour in New York City, like driving was insane, there was people and sounds and everything and I felt like I was going to crash the car at every moment and I was sweating and it was just horrendous. I just wanted to get home and like never leave my house and I've never been like that. And. I have become fearful of things that are really irrational, like I feel like if I go out I might fall asleep places, which like, I have insomnia, so like I don't, I don't know what that's about, but um, I feel like if I go out I'm just going to be so tired that I'm just going to shut down and not want to talk and just be everyone's gonna hate me and I'm just should just not leave my house and um, you know sometimes I don't even leave my room because it of anxiety but that I've never had like afraid to leave my house and like get overwhelmed by just being in the car like I'm not even interacting with people like this is just what's going on around me like it, I, I usually have anxiety in like a party situation or like a group of people or if I don't know exactly who's going to be somewhere or what's going to happen like I'm very much like a child like I need to know like who's going to be there like 
what's going to be happening and then I'll be okay. And like, I need my person and I need my person to know that I'm going to be clinging to them. And, um, so I don't know. It's, I think it's, I think it has to do with me not being great with my health right now and, um, feeling like I will become very ill if I'm out and something really tragic could happen if I'm in the car or just out somewhere or people will judge me. Um, and it's become even a situation where like I use Skype a lot. Like I used to, I don't know, I haven't used it in ages, but like, so I hate to say like I used to use it, but it really is true. Like I used to use Skype to talk to tons of people. Not tons, but like a group of people and like it's come to like, I get panic attacks thinking about talking to people on Skype, just one person on Skype. Um, if you don't know what Skype is, it's kind of like FaceTime, but like on your computer. I have trouble like FaceTiming, like I need to know when it is and if I'm tired, I don't want to do it and like look at me like I'm not this is like I'm not one of those people that like needs to put my makeup on to FaceTime. Like I don't know where this is coming from. It's just like I feel like I always say like I am Emily who has a chronic illness. But I feel like I've turned into, I'm a chronic illness, who is Emily? Like, I feel like it's switched places. And it's really sad and it's really disappointing. And it's at a point where, like, I need to get help. And, um, and it's just at a scary point. And one of my doctors is retiring and I feel like that has a huge part to do with it because when he told me that he was retiring, I burst into tears and I'm not one to cry in front of my doctors for some unknown reason. Like I really don't show that side of myself to them. Um, and retirement is kind of like one of those things that you congratulate people about, but I just, I don't like change and I don't especially with my team and I've been seeing him for seven or eight years now and it's just a lot and my anxiety has been crazy and it's been a rough two years of a lot of losses and it just seems like it keeps continuing. I mean even just with getting Jack's like the first little girl that we were going to adopt um, ended up passing away and then we thought we were getting a little girl from his litter and she ended up passing away and like it ended up amazing because we got Jax and I absolutely love him and he's perfect for our family and we just adore him but um, it was heartbreaking and things like that are really tough and um, I've lost both my grandparents we're gonna be selling the house in Florida um, we've lost a lot of animals um, who are near and dear to me um, it's it's been really really tough and I feel like it's gotten to me I feel like I'm still strong in my faith and I'm still, I still have moments of happiness. It's not like I'm completely depressed and just everything is horrible and blah, 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 blah. But there's these things that are creeping in that I just have never experienced before. And it's, it's scary because I don't, excuse me, what can we make out some other time? Um, I don't know who to talk to about it and how to talk to people about it. Like, it's hard to explain and I don't really know what I'm experiencing and it's, it's just, it's just tough and it's, 
it's shameful and it shouldn't be, but anything that has to do with like mental illness or illness at all is like seen as a, anything seen as a weakness is just kind of like, oh, you just want pity or oh, like, oh, she's whining again. Like, oh, she's just a burden. Like, she's just negative all the time. And I just don't want to be that person. And so it's tough to experience that and it feels really lonely and I know that everyone that loves and cares about me wants to be there for me but at the same time I just I'm not allowing them to be because I mean obviously there's a lot more going on than just this but this is something that has been really tough I feel like agoraphobia is something that like old like cat ladies have like I just and that's so wrong that's so wrong of me to think that way but it's just like that's how people are gonna view me because it's just like how we're conditioned to see people that have like phobias or like something different you know like I just I don't know so, I don't know if you guys have experienced anything like that. I don't know if your illness has um, made you feel that type of anxiety. Um, but I just thought that I would share that with you guys. And um, I know this is a bummer video and I really want to do positive videos. And you guys know I'm a really positive person. Hence, painful hilarity is always bringing the funny into everything. but. Sometimes being sick just isn't funny and it's really hard and lonely and desperate and um, so I just wanted to talk to you guys about it and share it because I felt compelled to and when I feel that way I generally sit down and make a video for you guys so I'm just going to leave this up and just not edit it at all and just um, yeah, so whatever so I hope you guys like this video um, if you have any suggestions or want to share your stories please comment down below I would absolutely love hearing from you or any coping mechanisms for this or if you're if you've had the same experience um, please share and I really would love um, if you guys would um, Say hi to Jax in the comments down below if you haven't seen him yet. This is my four month old puppy. Um, J A X is how he spells his name. That's how he writes it. That's how he spells it with his crayons. <laughs> um, yeah, if you would say hi to Jax. If you want to get a hold of me, my email and information is down below. I love hearing your stories and getting emails from you guys. And um, I have Instagram at Painful Hilarity, and I upload lots of pictures of my puppies and other dogs. That one's sleeping back there again. Um, so I, I really hope you guys are having a pain free, stress free day, and I love you guys so much. And I will see you in my next video. Sending out X double O's. Bye.